You're vacationing by the coast and you think, maybe today's the day to go whale watching. Most of your friends are psyched to join, but one friend is concerned about the recent news reports of orcas attacking boats. You suspect it is very unlikely that your boat would be attacked, and remind your friend that, first off, while orcas are cetaceans like the whales you would be watching for, they're in the dolphin family, so not the same at all. Second, those orca stories have been about encounters with yachts, not commercial whale watching boats. Your friend seems skeptical. Fortunately, your other friend, a statistician, suggests gathering more data. She proposes going down to the harbor and asking captains about recent cetacean attacks on the open seas. You think this could be useful? What counts as an attack? Should you only ask about sinkings, which have got to be pretty rare? Well, it's not just sinkings you care about. You want to know collectively about all the different outcomes that could lead to a really bad whale-watching day. Call it major adverse cetacean events, including sinkings, bumpings, and persistent boat chasing. You realize this approach of creating one measure that combines multiple outcomes is a lot like using a composite outcome in a clinical trial.